this is the, the Dynalifter aircraft. Well, we decided that a semi-Boeing aircraft would be the ideal uh, way to move cargo because it can stand, sit on the runway like a regular airplane, take off like a regular airplane, but can land in short distances and carry huge cargo bays. Cargo bays now that are three times larger than the, the, the giant aircraft you see now. Well, this will be the first time a new category of aircraft has uh, flown in, in Ohio since the uh, Wright Flyer. In our case, we'll be able to drop the cost of shipping, be able to bring things across an ocean at a lower cost than a, than a, a jet. As you see that the aircraft is very large and it, it allows us then to take a total advantage of not only helium, but also allows us to take advantage of the dynamic lift of the aircraft. And the idea came about in, in a very uh, unique way. Um, I was working on a uh, um, project with my son. He asked me to build him a blimp and filled it with helium and it just fell to the ground. I said, well, why don't I just put wings on it? Because it felt kind of light anyway, you know? I went to talk to a friend of mine that I worked with at Mount Union, and I said, you know, I think we could carry a lot of cargo on a big aircraft with, with, with wings, and I said, we should look into this. We did patent search, found out there was no patent on our idea of how to, to, um, to distribute the weight of the cargo. By end of next spring, we're hoping that the design freeze will be, and, uh, will be completed and then um, we'll go into the building of a prototype through um, early summer. So you should see production probably in a year, a half, two years. The idea here is to get to a thousand foot within the next six years so that, we're, we're, that we actually dominate the market. This little guy weighs about 2,000 pounds and I call it little because this is one tenth scale. This, this idea will scale up. This, we have a 500 foot version. This is the 110 foot, foot version. We have a 500 foot version. 700 foot version and a thousand foot version. Uh, in fact, I've taken this all over Ohio to, to explain to them how many jobs this could do, this could produce, and, and, and Toledo jumped right on. Immediately, there will be over 280 people on one, the first prototype. Those jobs then go in, but it, it would triple um, as you go into production. So it could go up to 3,000 people. In fact, all the freight from all over the world would come here and then distribute from here. This, again, this is one pin scale, so you can imagine this is going to be. Um, pretty huge, like from the bottom of the aircraft to the ground will be on the larger version 50 feet. So this cargo bay that will be sitting between these two towers that are inside there will be slung on the bottom of the aircraft and you'll be able to drive a semi-truck right up into it. Mm -hmm.